In the last video, we explored the size of the universe. But what about its shape? Let's explore some of the possible models for the cosmos. Zero point three octodecillionth percent. That's the proportion of the observable universe that Earth represents. This overwhelming statistic can make us feel small and insignificant. But keep in mind that we're part of the universe, and that means we matter. I mean, we are matter, unlike 95% of the universe. Indeed, physicists have estimated that the universe contains roughly 5% of ordinary matter, 27% of dark matter, and 68% of dark energy. Not much is known about these two last entities. Dark matter is an hypothetical entity scattered all over space that has gravity but, contrary to regular matter, doesn't emit or reflect light. It's a different thing though than black holes, ordinary matter so dense that nearby objects are violently affected. Dark energy is the mysterious entity responsible for the expansion of the universe. As to space-time itself, it's a dynamic thing that can expand, bend or ripple. These phenomena can all be explained by one concept. The curvature of space, which indicates how space-time is warped by mass or energy. A negative curvature of space-time means that parallel lines diverge, while a positive curvature means that parallel lines converge. A neutral curvature means that space-time is flat and that parallel lines, well, stay parallel. The notion of curvature in 3D can be difficult to comprehend for us, animals that can only perceive things in 3D. So a good way to simplify the concept is to make an analogy in 2D. For a 2D object, or plane, curvature represents the way the plane is folded in 3D. It's the same idea for a 3D object, or a solid. Curvature represents the way the solid is folded in 4D, a representation we cannot see. Different parts of space can have different curvatures, depending on the quantity of mass energy it contains. But as a whole, the universe seems to be flat. At least, that's what physicists calculated with a 0.4% margin of error. This is a very surprising result, because it means that, even if the density of mass energy varies from one region of space to another, on a cosmic scale, there is just the right amount of mass and energy to balance positively and negatively curved regions of space. This could possibly be the biggest coincidence of all time, or rather, space-time. But what is the shape of the entire universe? The limits of the entire universe are still unknown and may remain so for ebb, as it appears to be edgeless. If the universe is indeed infinite, then it doesn't really have any shape, it just goes to infinity and contains an infinite amount of space-time. If that's the case, it would take a long time before we found an edge. However, an edgeless universe doesn't necessarily mean that it is infinite, as the universe can contain a finite amount of matter but have no edge, the same way the surface of a sphere has no edge but is finite. As of today, multiple shapes have been suggested for an edgeless yet finite universe that could be bigger or even smaller than the observable universe. The proposed models can be classified into three categories, depending on the curvature of spacetime. If we assume, based on current calculations, that the universe as a whole is flat, one possible shape would be that of a hypertorus, the equivalent, in higher dimensions, of a 3D torus, a donut-like shape. A 3D torus is the solid formed by a rectangle which opposing edges have been glued together. A hypertorus would be formed in a similar way, by a 3D rectangular prism which opposing surfaces have been glued together. Don't try to visualize this, it's impossible. From a 2D perspective, the surface of a torus appears to be infinite because there is no edge. But this is a false impression, easily realized in 3D. After traveling a certain distance on the surface, you eventually come back where you started. Likewise, from a 3D perspective, our perspective, the space of a hypertorus seems to be infinite, but in reality isn't. If this is indeed the shape of our universe, it means that if we travel in a direction, we will eventually come back where we started, just like in a video game. However, current calculations could be wrong and spacetime could be curved. If this curvature is positive, then one possible shape for the universe would be a hypersphere the equivalent in higher dimensions of a sphere. A hypersphere is an object composed of points that are all located at the same distance from the center. On the other side, if the curvature is negative, one possible shape would be a Pickard horn, the equivalent in higher dimensions of a 3D horn which opposing points have been glued together. So, our universe appears to be flat and infinite, but it may not be alone, 
they could be parallel universes, all part of a bigger multiverse. Infinite timelines, infinite possibilities. Wubba dubba dub dub. Thanks for watching. I put a lot of time and effort into the production of my videos, so if you enjoy this one, please share it with your friends and family.